Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Andre Oktaviano, Fahrian Sadul, Zaki Muammar, and Dinda Sahida. Thank you for joining with me in this English Conversation 2 class. Uh, like I have in informed you this morning that we're going to have our online Zoom meeting. So I'm going to start this class uh, right now. Um, our topic is about unit eight. Um, as you can see in the display, this is about unit uh, eight. Finding um, the topic is finding a job. I have uh, seen your video uh, last week, but I haven't had enough time to give my responses yet, my feedback about your conversation. Video-videonya sudah saya lihat, tapi uh, saya tidak terlalu punya cukup waktu minggu yang lalu karena saya juga uh, menjadi uh, moderator di salah satu konferensi internasional di Padang dan beberapa aktivitas menterjemah segala macam. Oke, okay, so I try my best to uh, split my time this week, hopefully to give uh, my feedback about your conversation. Uh, this week we are going to have about this one, um, unit eight, finding a job. This is interesting topic to have uh, for our class. Um, finding a job is hot, as you can see in the picture. It's a from the book, it shows about hot dogs. Uh, kalau di kita ini sama seperti orang jual bakwan, seperti itu ya, sosis, uh, hot dogs. At first, I I was confused. I don't know why would I call this as a hot dogs, but then I found that this is this is idiomatic expression. Uh, ekspresi idiomatik tentang uh, nama hot dogs. This morning, we are going to talk about these subtopics. We have four subtopics, and I will split the rest uh, to next week. We are going to talk about jobs in your community, your occupation, the right job for you, and looking for a job. And I will show you a conversation after this one. I, dalam bentuk sebuah teks, uh, karena if video yang sebelumnya uh, I, kita menggunakan video transportation and travel waktu ada video ke London ya uh, ternyata uh, setelah saya upload ke YouTube pihak YouTube mengatakan videonya itu mengandung copyright claim uh, ada music seperti itu but at the time I didn't know that kind of was not going to be acceptable um, all right so we continue about this one Okay, so this is the picture, as you can see. Kita dilihat ada gambar. Uh, this is about jobs in your community. The first one, as you can see. Um, is the picture clear for you? Is the picture clear for you? Gambarnya jelas di sana? Slide-nya masih yang English conversation, sir. Oh, my English conversation. Okay, um, hold on. Let me try to. Um, ini sudah yang jobs in your community. Okay, ini masih ini ya. I will move on to the next one. Nah, apakah muncul uh, gambar unit eight sini yang finding a job? Belum, sir. Belum, sir. Okay, I stop share for a while. Saya stop share terlebih dahulu. Um, hold on. Okay, so here it is. Um, can you see it? Bisa dilihat ininya. Yang berikutnya adalah ini. Can you see it? Subtopics for meeting seven, uh, part one. Bisa dilihat ini. Yes, bisa start. Yes, bisa. Okay, good. Um, this is the finding a job. This morning, as you can see, we 
we will talk about four subtopics. The first one is jobs in your community. Uh, to your occupation, uh, third, the right job for you, and the fourth one is looking for a job. And next week, we will talk about applying for the job, wages and benefits. Um, remember that the context of our conversation this morning is about uh, the, U, the U, I think this is the US context. Uh, Amerika Serikat ini ya, it's, it's a very common picture. Kalau kalian jalan-jalan ke New York atau ke Chicago, ke New Jersey, kota-kota besar di sana, ini hot dogs ini, ini makanan yang paling accessible yang bisa ditemukan di around the corner, the street, seperti subway, seperti itu ya. Kalau yang sulit dicari itu adalah lontong. Kalau mau makan bakwan itu sulit dicari di sana. Um, tapi di Indonesian Embassy ada kok. Okay, so we will start first with jobs in your community. Um, nih. Apakah gambarnya kelihatan? Kelihatan. Okay, good. All right. So this is about jobs in your community. We have three students right over here in this picture. Uh, student A, student B, and student C. You see, I think it's uh, something happening within their mind about this one, right? If you if you could see, I think this is, it looks like a cloud somewhere representing what's happened in their mind. Mm. So it's in here, okay? Before we talk about this picture, I'd like for us to talk about the list of vocabulary. We have 27 words that are going to be useful for you to know about jobs. The first one, um, who wants to try to practice pronouncing it, reading this, who wants to try? You can click raise your hand in your, in your application. Silakan, siapa yang mau coba baca ini? Anyone? Dinda, sir. Okay, Dinda. Okay, try. Go ahead. One, agriculture, arts, banking, beauty care, commerce, communi communication, design, entertainment, food service, service, government, healthcare industry, industry, law enforcement, manufacturing, money management, news media, occupation, office work, photography, private sector, public service, retail sales, security, service industry, shipping, tourist, vendor. Hmm. Okay, thank you, uh, Dinda. These 27 words are connected to the idea about jobs, tentang uh, pekerjaan. We see the first one is, uh, I think, agriculture. Everyone already knows about this one. Agriculture, agri, agribusiness. Uh, agri is related to um, pertanian ini ya. The word ada agribusiness, agriculture, uh, ag agri-industry. So it's related to uh, farming, pertanian ini. Berarti ini budidaya tani ini. Arts, um, banking, beauty care. Commerce, commerce, ada commerce, ada e-commerce. Ini commerce ini semacam perdagangan seperti itu. Uh, communications, S-nya jangan lupa, ini plural. Design, enter entertainment, food service, government. Uh, remember when spellingnya, uh, apakah udah pernah saya jelaskan di sini tentang syllable sebelumnya? Syllable yang ada di kata. Belum ya? Belum, sir. Belum, oke. Okay. Alright. Nah, contoh misalnya, 
Contoh di sini arts, ini kan satu syllable arts, kemudian banking, ini ada dua banking, syllable itu sama dengan suku bunyi. Jadi jadi kalau dua, yang pertama kita beri stress seperti banking, beauty care, beauty care, beau, beauty, beauty, care, care itu dia uh, satu bunyi. Z seperti itu ya kalau silabu kalau kita bernafas suara oh, sorry udara yang keluar dari mulut kita itu kan sekali a nah i u nah itu dia satu silabu kupu kupu dua suku bunyi ya berarti beauty care commerce commerce communication communication nah, ini naik ya k ini communicate communicate communication Design, 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 bukan design, bukan design. Entertainment, food service, food service, government, healthcare industry, healthcare industry, 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 law enforcement, manufacturing, money management, news media, media ini dua berarti yang pertama kita berikan penekanan ya stress media news media occupation office work photography private sector private sector public service retail sales security service industry service industry shipping tourism vendor nah, seperti itu ya jadi when you hear word uh, in English, then you can split how it is pronounced in uh, English way. Kalau misalnya, kalau kita bawa kota kosa kata bahasa Indonesia, seperti ini. Um, ya, kalau di sini, uh, okay. misalnya, sastra, 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 Jepang, sastra, Jepang. Nah, kalau bahasa Indonesia kan tidak ada seperti itu ya. But in English it has. Nah, kalau di dalam bahasa Jepang mungkin ada pula stressing-nya, penekanannya. Uh, dozo. Dozo. Nah, itu seperti itu. Beda ininya ya. Uh, sense of uh, sounding. Um, dari kosakata ini apakah ada yang tidak diketahui? Ada law enforcement, ada manufacturing, ada retail sales, service industry. Ada shipping, uh, vendor, seperti itu ya. Now, let us go back to see the picture. The first picture shows jobs in your community. We have three students, student A, student B, and student C. Yeah, okay. What does it mean with this one? What do you think? What happened in the picture? based on this uh, list of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Anyone wants to say something? What happened in the picture? Um, they're looking at a... Um, Sir? Excuse me? Like Re reading. Bermim ya lebih tepatnya kayak membayangkan sesuatu pekerjaan suatu mereka nanti gitu sir. Oh oke. Okay. They they are dreaming about their future job, right? Okay, this is good. This is interesting. Um so they they are talking or discussing about uh, jobs and in the in this picture I think it's only student A that can be found, right? Here. She's sitting next to the uh, behind the, I think it's a, a bus, right? Bus driver behind the bus driver. And maybe she wants to work as a journalist or um, report media officer, perhaps. So those kind of things, jobs in your community. And now we move on to the next picture you see we have the picture of uh, okay i think it's i think it's a big city right like this one 
kalau kota-kota yang ada di US yang setahu saya yang pernah saya kunjungi ini kotanya seperti ini bentuknya ini. jadi halamannya itu enggak terlalu besar eh, langsung di trotoar langsung ketemu ininya gedung ini. mereka di, di di dalam banyak jadi lebih banyak ke sifatnya interior design kalau yang mau di luar itu biasanya di daerah-daerah suburban yang spacious itu. Kebetulan tempat saya studi Edwardsville itu cukup spacious. Kalau you apa namanya mau belanja shopping makan apa itu halamannya besar. Um, the third picture gambar ketiga we have this one. Okay, you see several pictures are standing and they Wow, they have different different activities right over here. See, it's interesting. All right, now in the picture two, what what words that might be relevant according to you? This one, picture number two. What word? Might be related. Which one? Is it um, I think the first one is who wants to try? Siapa yang mau coba uh, menjawabnya ini? We have Salon Gino. Um, okay, you want to say something? Uh, Evelina? News media, sir. News media, okay. Good. Look at this person who is taking notes on what's What's going on, right? Uh, this person is taking notes. It's a, it's a very traditional way of making news, but I still I still believe that some journalists who work in CNN, NBC, ABC, Metro TV uh, usually take notes on what's going on. Yeah. Kenapa? Karena ketika mereka kembali ke kantor, image-nya itu nanti bisa bisa berubah. Gak bisa di hafal-hafal harus di catat. And the other words that might be related with with the picture too is is about this one commerce, commerce. This is commerce, cafe, and then saloon. And we have here people singing on the street. Jadi kalau di kita kan bahasanya ngamen ya. Ngamen itu juga ada kok di negeri orang sana. <laughs> kalau malam-malam di sini biasanya kalau kami, waktu saya pernah ke uh, Denver ya, Denver, Colorado. Di sana kalau malam-malam itu biasanya setelah uh, gedung-gedung ini tutup, malam itu tutup kok jam 9 itu sudah pada pada sepi. Jadi jangan di sana itu enggak, enggak semua tempat pula yang bising sampai pagi itu enggak. Nah juga ya itu hanya di film-film. Kemudian di sini jam 10 11 itu nanti pagi kami jalan sudah sholat subuh kalau saya jalan coba dingin banget di sana. Di bawah bawah ini <coughs> excuse me di bawah bawah ini ada orang-orang yang tidur loh di emperan itu. Itu yang dinamakan dengan homeless. Um, kadang uh, sewa rumahnya udah udah habis harus mereka harus convicted harus keluar gitu. So it's Kehidupan di sana agak sedikit sedikit keras ya kalau nggak apa kalau nggak punya skill atau uh, keterampilan. Lagi bahasa Inggrisnya harus bagus. Ini kalau di, di negara Jepang misalnya tentu bahasa Jepang yang akan diutamakan. Kemudian um, yang berkaitan juga gambar ini adalah um, retail sales. Re- no no it's not this one. It's uh, Shipping, shipping, yes, yeah, shipping. Sini ada shipping. Usually, mobil-mobil seperti ini digunakan untuk uh, shipping the product for the delivery. Kita Indonesia kan baru tahun 2018-an lah ya, 2017-an. Mulai gosen-gosen begitu. So, sebelumnya kan nggak terlalu banyak online online shipping, topi, segala macam. Lazada gitu-gitu. Sebelumnya nggak ada. Um, picture number three, apa yang cocok kosa katanya? This one, as you can see. Picture number three. 
wants to try to answer the question? Uh, picture number uh, three. Uh, we have this one, save the park. Okay, ini, ini gambar uh, public oratory namanya. Oratory is when you speak in public and you want to convey or deliver something to people. You need save the park, okay? Um, and then this one is, I think it's uh, carrying a lot of dogs with him. Banyak uh, anjing-anjing yang. Some people like this one, petting and animals. What do you think? It's um, Is it dealing with petting animals? What kind of important things that you need to keep when you pet animals? What, what is that? According to you, what is the essential things in petting animals? Dalam memelihara apa? Memelihara binatang. Apa yang penting? Excuse me? Kenapa, Dinda? You want to say something? Hmm. Okay. All right. So we move on to the next one. This is about jobs in community. We have uh, public service, security, and service industry, uh, shipping. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to send you the attendance list. Silakan diisi. Ini. Linknya untuk absensi. Okay, so we have talked about this one, several important words that might be related to your uh, topic in jobs in community. We have healthcare industry. Ini seperti misalnya yang berkaitan dengan industri uh, jasa kesehatan. Um, kemudian news media, office work. Uh, photography. I think everyone already knows about this one. Uh, next, we talk about ini. I feel a little bit um, pada sedikit agak diam-diaman uh, uh, nih pagi ini. Ada, are you everything okay? Everything is okay right there. Semuanya apakah baik-baik? Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, karena sure. pada ini <laughs> diam-diaman aja. Um, all right, so we move to the next one about your occupation. Uh, this is this is the interesting picture. Person A, B, and person C. So I think each one of them is dreaming about a specific occupation. Mm, okay, before we talk about this vocabulary, who wants to guess? What occupation is the person A wants to have? What is this? What occupation? Occupation means uh, pekerjaan. What is the occupation? Profesinya. No. Yes, hospital Tiara? Hospital worker. Okay, hospital worker. Okay. And what else? Apa lagi? Nggak ada kata nurse. nurse. Okay, perfect. Tiara is a nurse. Mm, good. Um, person A, what, what is it? Person B, sorry. Person B, what occupation that he wants to be? Which one? Mechanical. Mechanical, okay. Mechanic, yes. Mechanic and um, what else that you can find in here? Can you say um, which one? Mechanic and it, it can be auto worker. See, auto worker. It relates to fixing a car. Uh, Mechanic is a broad term. 
And this one is auto worker, means uh, a worker who works for the automobile, this one. And what about person C? What occupation that she wants to have? Office worker. Office worker, that's, that's quite easy. Office worker, good, number 12. Can we say um, administrative assistant? Can, sir. Yes, you can, administrative assistant. And um, secretarial? It works, yeah, it's, it relates to secretarial. And uh, today, the interesting thing that happens in Indonesia, this one is self-employed. Self-employed means that you are not working for any other company, you are not working for anyone, but you have your own company, but in that company, it is you, the boss, and it is you, the worker. So everything you handle yourself, that's self-employed. Um, for example, my other occupation, occupation outside teaching uh, as a lecturer is to be self-employed translator. Jadi um, pekerjaan lainnya seperti menjadi seorang penterjemah. Jadi enggak hanya menjadi seorang dosen misalnya. Itu self-employed. People contact me to do the work and then they pay me directly for the service that I did. That's just, that is the meaning of self-employed. It's very different with underemployed. Underemployed means that you don't you are not working and then you have low ability to be hired as a worker, underemployed, especially unqualified. Unqualified means that you do not have specific requirements that the job needs you to have. For example, you want to apply for working in a hospital, but, but then you do not graduate from faculty of medicine, for example. It's going to be difficult for you to be accepted. So that's one of the things. And uh, I think the word shift, kata-kata shift ini sudah mulai uh, masuk ke bahasa Indonesia ini. Shift malam, shift siang, seperti itu katanya. Tapi ini berasal dari bahasa Inggris juga, shift. Ada night shift, uh, third shift, second shift, and then the shift, shift. Shift ini pergantian jam kerja. What about blue collar? Have you ever heard about this one? Blue collar. Kerah biru, blue color. Ini seperti kalau saya pakai kerah, kerah saya dari batik. Batik color nggak ada di bahasa Inggris. Yang ada white color and then blue color. Blue color, hmm, blue color itu yang posisinya uh, di atas ya, top. Sementara kalau white, white color, it's not so important. It's just, it's uh, in the lower classes, white color. Okay, this one, white color, okay. Okay, we have 10 minutes left for the first session. We still continue in here. And the other thing is about certification. Why do we need this one? What do you think? Why do we need certification? Mm-hmm. Anyone wants to say something? Certification. Pernah dengar kata? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, untuk memverifikasi gitu, sir. Kalau misalnya itu udah bersertifikat, bersertifikasi gitu, sir. Mm -hmm. Oke. Okay. It's a... kayak uji kelayakan, sir. Oke, okay, good, good, good answer. Uji kelayakan. Jadi perlu yang namanya certification. Seperti misalnya kalian sekarang kuliah di jurusan sastra Jepang UBH perlu namanya certification. Certification yang dimaksud di sini adalah a document, a formal document that is acknowledged. Acknowledged ini maksudnya yang diakui by the government and by the Department of Education of Indonesia, Republic of Indonesia, and it, it shows your credibility. And then your competence in in the field of Japanese literature, language and literature, yang menunjukkan kemampuan kalian di jurusan bahasa dan sastra Jepang. 
seperti itu ya. Jadi kan uh, juga belajar ilmu bahasa ya. Apakah kalian juga belajar ilmu bahasa linguistik? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, okay. hmm. Ya, yeah. jadi belajar yang namanya morfologi, uh, sintaks, kemudian ada uh, deksis, ada pronunciation, phonology, morfologi seperti itu ya. Jadi ilmu itu membantu dalam pemahaman bahasa dan sastra awalnya. Nah, karena ditambah dengan spesifik bahasa dan sastra Jepang, maka kalian spesifik ke bahasa Jepang seperti itu. Jadi yang mahasiswa jurusan bahasa dan sastra Inggris berarti ilmu linguistik mereka akan diterapkan ke bahasa Inggris. Nah, seperti itu ya. So it's uh, ada yang bilang begini. Dia mahasiswa jurusan sastra Jepang berarti bahasa Jepangnya bagus. Profesor bilang iya, terus bagus. Nah, kemudian di samping bagus dia juga punya ilmu bahasa bahasa yang diterapkan ke bahasa Jepang nah, dan ditambah ke paham budaya Jepang. Nah, selain budaya Indonesia juga harus paham ya. <laughs> Jangan budaya orang kita paham budaya sendiri kita nggak tahu kan itu yang cukup di, di, di apa ya? dikhawatirkan seperti itu. Oke, okay, so that's a slide slide show sampingan saja. And we will continue with the third picture. Ini ada kosakata yang tidak tahu overtime. Overtime ini maksudnya excuse me. Um, overtime ini lembur bahasa Indonesianya lembur. I work overtime yesterday contohnya. I have an overtime schedule. Itu jadwal lembur. Okay, so that's that's quite a bit of a very interesting. The next one is the right job for you. Okay, um, we have this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, the sixth picture is empty. Um, You see this list of words? Satu sampai sembilan. Siapa yang mau coba baca? Pakai yang saya bilang tadi, pakai syllable. Yang bunyi pertama agak ditekan. ya. Laptop. Handphone. Table. Window. Jadi yang bukan seperti ini, misalnya kalau window. Window. Table. Bukan begitu. Table. Window. Agak di stressing sedikit, agak ditekan suaranya itu ya. Once you try, um, one until nine. Siapa yang mau coba? Speak pronunciation-nya. Biasa. Oke, okay. try, Tiara. Siapa Tiara tadi ya? Fidiasa. Oh, Fidia. Silakan, Fidia. Uh, number one is analytical. Number two is analyze. Three, build. Four, builder. Five, challenge. Six challenging, seven construction site, uh, eight coordinate, nine elementary school teacher. Oke, okay. good. Um, ini uh, sudah bagus tadi ya bunyi ininya. Uh, analytic, analytical, analyze, build, builder, builder, challenge, challenging, construction site, coordinate. Elementary school teacher. Um, Oke, okay. that's the way how it pronounce. Tapi kalau untuk kita yang orang Indonesia tadi itu sudah sudah cukup bagus, gitu ya. Karena kita lidah kita bukan lidah native. Uh, but at least we try. Try the next one, number 10 to 17. Silakan. Siapa yang mau coba bacanya? Who wants to try? Hmm. Andre Octaviano, you want to try? Uh, Oke, okay, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, heavy equipment operator, independent, interesting, job training, manual labor, medical technician, man, man apparel or fashion, para professional. Hmm. Oke, okay, good. Um, 
heavy, heavy equipment operator, independent, interesting, job training, manual labor, medical technician, men's apparel, fashion, and para professional. Ini para professional ini uh, di atas profesional berarti ini maksudnya para ini seperti kata saya kalau mendengar kata para ini ingat paranormal <laughs> ya jadi di atas normal para profesional uh, para di sini bukan seperti para guru para para murid bukan begitu it's a para means related to this kind of concept para professional tapi di atas dari profesional itu sedikit Um, okay, number 18 into 24. Who wants to read this? Siapa yang mau coba? Um, Zakia Muhammad Shah, you want to try? Yes, sir. Okay. Presentation, professional, skill, soft problems, technical, unskill, work environment. Okay, good, Zakia. Right, very good. Uh, we have... Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven words in that list. We have a presentation, professional, skilled, solve problem. Ada, ada yang bilang problem dengan problem. It's it's a way of uh, preference saja, pilihan saja. Solve problem, technical, unskilled, work environment. Now, this is related to the right job for you. This is important. Ya, penting bagi kalian nanti ketika kalian sudah wisuda mendapat gelar S Hum, sarjana humaniora di bidang ilmu bahasa dan sastra Jepang, dimanapun nanti kalian kerja, this is important. The right job for you. Jadi, do not compare. Jangan membanding-bandingkan. Ada yang uh, bekerja terus uangnya banyak, misalnya kan orientasi tidak selalu uh, uang. Uang penting. But your happiness in your job, that's important. Karena, apa ya, my experience, um, pernah saya bekerja di sebuah tempat yang enggak, enggak, enggak ini, bukan, apa ya, bukan, bukan tempat itu tidak bagus, it's just the aura of the competition is not so good, and people backbiting, you know, backbiting. Ini kalau saya ketik, oke, okay, waktunya less than one minute, we will continue with uh, session two, masih di, di Zoom, okay? I'll see you, I stop share here. I'll see you in the session two. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.